Tip number one is to use email. Right after you submit your project, email your project link to at least three people who you think might be able to lend a hand. Letting people know about your classroom project via email is the number one way to jumpstart donations to your project. Not sure who to email? Take the time to write out a little list of people who might want to support you, your classroom, or the subject area of your project. Some ideas are friends and family who'd be excited to hear about your classroom, old college pals, your running group, your book club, local businesses, community members, and former students. When you do send those emails, make each email you send super personal by using the recipient's name and adding a tidbit about why you thought of them. It's also a good best practice to share an anecdote from your classroom and tie your project request to a bigger goal you have for your students. For example, we're hoping for a class set of the book Night by Ellie Wiesel to understand the experience of a Holocaust survivor. Once we build our knowledge about the Holocaust, we'll be creating a timeline of events during World War II. We'd love your help in becoming historians. Here's a bonus tip. Texting works too. People are constantly connected to their phones, so texting your network is becoming a really effective way to advocate for your classroom. Here's what a text could sound like. Hey Abby, I just posted a classroom project for frog specimens. Kind of gross, I know. And I would love your help in sharing it. Would you mind sending the link along to a few of your college biology friends? I think they'd be interested in lending a hand. Whether you choose email or text, don't forget to include the link to your project.